Welcome back to Mass Effect 1 with Tristan Shepard. So we've landed on Eden Prime. We came here to pick up a Prothean beacon. But when we got here, we intercepted this transmission that the colony was under attack. <coughs> and so it's made our life a whole lot more complicated. Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. So now we got to find this beacon and fight through all this opposition to get to it. One of these days, Jenkins going to live. It's going to be really scary when he does. Hayden, why did they All pick clear. on you? Look, look. How, how come you get picked on and not, not Shepard? Ripped right through his shields. They're at a chance. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. Check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Like I said, I don't have to open up crates now. equipment I need. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was going to make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? I need a status report. Now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. 
Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. I like how in Dragon Age Inquisition, these things go away as you ask them, so you don't end up re-asking them. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. You notice she doesn't have a sniper rifle on her back. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out. Now she's got a sniper rifle. But it's a crap one. Alright, let's up upgrade her. I should not have anything on there. Let's give her some stuff. What should we give her? Let's give her one of those. And what else should we give her? Doesn't really need that necessarily. Eh. Does have toxin resistance and more power cooldown. Eh, let's give her that. And what does this thing got? Scram rail. Good. And give her that. And you're not one of those. Make a save. Alright. Ash. What weapon are you using, Ashley? Alright, fine. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Targets down. Impaling victims instead of just shooting them. There must be some reason behind it. Classic psychological warfare. They're using terror as a weapon. Perhaps. That man was still alive when they stuck him on the spike. Killing us isn't enough. The Geth want us to suffer. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps.
change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh, God. They're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? What does it take for you to die? My God. Goodness. Area secured. It's a crate over there. I don't care. It's a crate in there. Should we go say goodnight to Manuel? I think so. I think we should say goodnight to Manuel. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Well, Manuel obviously saw Saren, and he's obviously used the beacon. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Ugh. Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. <laughs> it was only a matter of time until he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. <laughs> Good night, Manuel. <laughs> Saren. Nihilus. 
This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Well, we just heard Saren shoot Nihilus, and there goes Sovereign taking off. So one has to wonder how in the world does Saren get off planet? Should we go talk to these guys? Yeah, let's go talk to them. Oh, by the way, I just noticed this recently. There's a crate right over there. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up! If there's something you're not telling me, some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no wait. I just remembered. <laughs> I, I just had it in my pocket. You might as well take that, too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? I have to go. Good luck. <clears throat> Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving, over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I, I'm sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. 
Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah... Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next... Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... and it was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand over those grenades. Now. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay, all right. Th there was something else. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. I don't know. I'll, I guess I'll take it. I don't know if I have a 10 or not. Just wanted to point out there's a what is that? An upgrade kit right back there. I think you might be right. Yeah, what are these towers supposed to be? 
All right. Well, I think that's enough for this episode. In the next episode, we will save Eden Prime from being totally destroyed. But until then, have a nice day.